What's up? This is Tony from Municipal Waste, and you're watching Chaos Scene. Okay, so what's up, everyone? Chaos Scene is today here at the Ice Hall of Helsinki, Finland, and we have Tony from Municipal Waste as guest. Hello. Hello. Good How to, are you? Good to talk to you again. <laughs> I'm great. So obviously you are now on the road with Lamp of God and Creator. Yep. How has it been? Uh, it's wonderful. This is the fourth show? Fourth? Fifth show. Well, um, we did one show with just us and Creator, but yeah, I think this is the fourth or fifth show we've been at. Um, so I'm still jet lagged, so I'm still kind of like out of it. I don't know why I'm still jet lagged, but uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. Like crazy, crazy shows. Um, yeah, it's one of the cooler tours I've been on. So far, it's been amazing. So, how has it felt to be back in Europe playing again? Obviously, it's, you had also some setbacks with the Anthrax tour cancelled. Yeah, and yeah. Um, this one kind of like was a surprise because the Anthrax tour got cancelled, and then and then this came up, and we yeah. were like, "Oh, that's amazing!" And we you were, were the able third to like, support band for this. Yeah, tour. yeah. So th there's been a lot of a lot of ups and downs with this tour, of, like, obviously with COVID and everything, and then you know the different. Uh, lineups switched around and different venues and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, we're honored to be a part of it. Stoked they asked us, and yeah, it's been been incredible, and it worked out perfect for us because we really wanted to make up those Anthrax shows, and it just wasn't really in the cards for us, like with with our scheduling and what we had going on, and then this kind of fell in our lap, so it was a blessing. And it's been amazing. They've been treating us so good, and I, I would say touring. Uh, this is one of the bigger tours we've done that we've been treated this well, honestly. Like, I don't think we've ever been treated better. But you are from the same city than Lamp of God guys are, so you, oh, yeah. you probably yeah, knew we, them like, very well yeah, beforehand. Yeah, if they treated so. us bad, we would yell at them at the grocery <laughs> store. You see, you know, we'd be at Walmart going, man, what, why'd you... <laughs> you made up stage, room stage, stage room. But in, t in terms of like touring in Europe, how important like Europe has been as a continent for you to play? Oh, a, a lot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, sadly, we don't make it up here as much. Uh, I mean, we haven't played. We haven't played Finland in uh, many I, years. I think it was Tuska. Yeah, was, might have been the last yeah. show we played here. So it's crazy. I mean, as much as we uh, come out to Europe, we don't make it up this way very often. So we are very excited to be here for sure. This is like a big one for us. So in terms of like touring in general in Europe, obviously there's been like quite a lot of talk in, about the logistics that is it like affordable to come to Europe for a US band. So did you have to like think about it when you got the tour offer that do you afford to come to Europe and play? Absolutely. Yeah, it's 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 scary. It's still scary. I mean, we don't know if we're gonna like come home with money or whatever. I mean, if it covers itself and we're out here, we're able do this that's great you know um we've always been kind of a frugal band like we we cut corners as much as we can you know um but uh you know it's it's harder and harder as the years go on to tour over here um and it sucks and it sucks for bands to tour america too yeah. i mean they're like hitting hitting bands with visas so hard now yeah, they are it's suggesting bullshit visas to go like four times more yeah it's it's fucking lame man i don't understand it's like you're punishing poor people like we don't fucking make a lot of money you know so it sucks that like there's so many the costs just keep going up and it's just harder and harder but um we're gonna keep doing it until until the wheels fall off we'll try our best to get over here as much as possible especially now it seems like things are opening up again like Seems like it's starting to loosen up a little bit more and more. So, so fingers crossed. So, how has it been like in terms when you have been touring in, in in the states? Has it been like normal after COVID, or or has the audience been like reducing, or, or have you noticed like any difference? Uh, I think it's more people are more excited. Okay. It's more of uh, they're everybody's ready to get back into it. You know. There's definitely, like, especially like the first few shows when we played back, it was, holy shit, there was just this uh, energy where, uh, you know, I was like tearing up on stage. I'm singing songs about beer and stuff, and I'm like almost <laughs> crying. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, like, you missed the beer part. <laughs> it's like really, it's a weird 
thing, but it's true. I mean, we, it was uh, the emotion of the You forget how much you fucking care about it, you know, and then it's like slaps you in the face when it's all gone, and then having it come back slowly is, is uh, was great. You know, it was really cool. So obviously, you made an album with Municipal Waste during the COVID yeah. time. But what's the situation with Iron Regan? Have you been working oh, anything with that? Oh uh, no, that kind of has uh, dissolved for the most part. We're uh, I moved, you know, like we were already kind of over it. It was just so much going on. Doing two full time bands was killing me basically, oh, okay. and me and Phil were just exhausted and just so much layers of bullshit that we were just kind of locked away from it. But um, I don't. I think. It's something that is on the back burner. I wouldn't say it's dead, but it's just something like I live 12 hours away from Richmond, so doing two Richmond bands okay. is just way too fucking much for me. I started jamming with some guys in Florida now, and it's really fun. Phil's got a band. Ryan's Ryan's doing um, doing this band Terminal Bliss. Phil's doing Morbicon with a gentleman from Finland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthias Lilmons. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he's very good a friend of mine. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. It's, you know everybody's we're all happy and never you know we're just doing our own things and you know there's and then you also have events yeah that yeah that's what i was doing in florida so it's cool i'm you know playing with paul from cannibal corpse and uh my goo from warthog and uh jeff and jeff from reversal man so how did that band like came about was it also like a COVID thing or or did it no start no like that before? was just like uh we're all hanging out like it's just people i met down there um me and mike wanted to do a band and and um just we just had a lot of mutual friends and me and him both moved to st petersburg around the same time okay so i joked with paul about doing a band years ago and then me and mike really hit it off and we're into a lot of the same stuff like okay. um obscure hardcore and death yeah, metal yeah. and shit like that and um We were like, oh, you know, like we should, we should jam. We should do a band and find a drummer. I'm like, oh, I, I know a drummer that <laughs> I got a guy. Could do it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know. And uh, so uh, it all came together real fast, and it's it's a fun project. I just fucking love the way the creative process is is real laid back and fun, and and um, it's good to have that back. I've in always my life gotten that picture from Paul that he's quite like laid back and easy guy to work. He's work he's with. one of the most genuinely nice yeah. per- people yeah. I've ever. Ever met. Yeah. So um yeah, it's just cool. It's um Iron Reagan was kind of snowballed into this monster, like this touring entity and, and it, it kinda of took away from the fun that it was supposed to be where it was just supposed to be a local Richmond band that was the idea that we originally wanted and then we just kind of like all these offers came and then it just kind of blew you, up in you our know face how it goes. I don't know. you know how it will go <laughs> with heaven's gate as well <laughs> yeah no it ain't like that though. there's We're like just, one it's tour more, day uh, two tour days yeah I learned my lesson the hard way and fucking my knees are shot and my fucking you know it's just so it's gonna be more like way. a studio thing it's gonna be thing. a casual uh, creative process and just whatever we want to do fucking baby steps man not not a not fucking explosion of crazy shit all the time <laughs> how important that aspect is for you that you have like another creative outlet for it to sort of express yourself it's huge because being away from like my best friends and my bandmates for you know that i've been in this band for 20 years started this band with ryan and uh being away from that and uh not really having anyone to do music with was uh um it was weird at first but then it was also like the pandemic was going on too so there's also way more crazier shit than to worry about than start a new band or doing anything like that you know so um it was huge to have like a, another creative outlet it's it's really fun it's just it's just a good feeling it's like it's a sense of camaraderie and and creativity that goes with it that's that's uh just fun i, I miss having that I was doing some background f- work for your band, and I noticed that Waste and All, your debut album, is actually turning 20 years. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> how does it sound for you that it's already 20 <laughs> years old? Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's. I mean, it's crazy. It's been, especially like the last 10 years, have been a whirlwind. You know, like. Um, But it's cool, yeah. With seven albums now, and yeah. 
I feel like uh, I always thought we were like the kid band and all the older, you know, every band was older than us. So, and uh, it's weird now we're kind of the old guys <laughs> now and there's so many other new like killer Tables bands out there. Yeah, you know, people are coming up to me that are in like cool bands or oh, I used to listen to you when I was in middle school and I'm like fuck that's so weird <laughs> <laughs> will you plan on like celebrating that anyhow will you plan on like adding some of the old stuff to the set list maybe or or doing anything yeah, yeah, around yeah yeah we'll definitely like we used to play a bunch of those songs when Dave was in the band um, Brandon played on that record and he passed away a long time ago and it's funny when he uh, before he passed away a couple of years we did a when Miss Waste was just fully functioning with Phil and Dave we did a waste them all show with brandon and andy okay and we played the whole album and that was it and and uh, it was really fun um so it's kind of cool to be able to get with those guys again and and, and do that and that was that was like 10 years ago that it might have been the 10 year anniversary yeah, for that. yeah most likely and uh but now yeah i mean we're definitely gonna like look, like pull some of that out probably the end of the summer um I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but um, we're going to re-release it with Nuclear Blast. Okay. And um, and then we'll probably do a little <laughs> tour around it and play a little chunk of, of those songs, a little tribute to Brandon. Yeah, so it should be fun. That's uh, something we got on the back burner, you know, it's a busy year. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you in the end, like, what does the future hold for you and for the band? What kind of like plans do you have? Oh, yeah, like um, we're going to do something for Waste Them All, for sure. Um, we have a lot of stuff in the works for sure yeah we're definitely like back out there we want to do like a proper headliner for the new album the one that came out you know let's fry brain so uh we're, we're in the works of planning that out just weird how things are so crazy and you get to plan stuff out like a fucking year in advance yeah now. they are happening I mean, yeah. they're happening yeah. it's not like you plan something yeah. postpone 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 like I, I bu- is this gonna ever happen i remember booking the wa- waste them all originally like you know i used to book all the, all the tours and i printed all the shirts you know and right you know we were me and ryan were just like hustling and uh I remember booking that first municipal waste tour like three months before, you know, on a fucking phone, like pay phones and shit, and, you know, uh, phone cards. You remember that shit? Like, yep. And uh, now you gotta book a tour a year ahead of time. And maybe they did it back then. We just didn't know what the fuck we did. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's good. Probably. It, it's it good to end here. So hey, thanks a lot, Tony, for the chat. Yeah, yeah, And all cheers. the best for tonight's show as well as Hell for yeah. the rest of the European. It's run. great to be back. And you want to say as a closer to all the fans? Yeah, thanks for sticking with us for 20 years. That's fucked up, but uh, thanks a lot. It means the world to us. And uh, see you in the pit. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Right on.